to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And uh, all of my recordings are available and they're all organized in playlists on my website. So you can stream for free, you can download for free, all on my website. And if you'd like to, you can also send me a PayPal gift, the link's on my website, and I also have a wish list as well. Yay! So um, this is going to be a short recording, and this is something that I did myself yesterday, last night. Um. Basically, it's, it's a weird one, but this is how sometimes I'm affected. Me and my friend both ate the same thing. He called me up about an hour later, telling me that he was feeling ill. And hearing him explain it to me was causing... It was cool. <laughs> I, I was feeling anxious. Okay, and then, but I had the distraction of his voice, uh, so it didn't really affect me as much. It it, it was kind of okay, but I was a little bit, oh. Once I put the phone down, I didn't actually put the phone down, it's not like the old phones, I've got a 1980s landline. So, you know, I disconnected the phone, turned it off, whatever you want to, and... I started to really feel anxiety coming on, like proper, like a panic attack, like my breath was shortening and I don't need to explain the symptoms because that's probably not very useful to be fair, to be fair, you know, Um, but I really started to feel unwell. And I closed my eyes I said to myself, no, no, it might, it might sound a bit weird, but I said it in a very stern voice, not in shout, you know, it wasn't like abusive, it wasn't horrible, but it was very stern, like no, the kind of no that when you hear someone say it, you know they mean business. You know they mean it. Even the most mildest people have a point where they will say no, no more. And you listen to them. Now, I've experienced that with a few people over the years. And you can ring, you can run rings around them and you can make fun of them and you whatever. But occasionally they'll say no. They won't say no. They'll say no. No more. I only ever heard my nan say it once. It was at my granddad's funeral, and my uncles were just laughing. They was they weren't laughing because they were enjoying themselves. They were just um, getting through it. You know, it wasn't actually in the church. This was before the funeral at my nan's house, and. My nan had a go at them, told them all to have more respect. Now, they weren't meaning to, they weren't showing disrespect. They were dealing with it the best they, way they could, you know, and um, probably by holding in the emotions. And my nan was dealing with it the best she could by shouting at them. <laughs> no, by, um, the point is, I'd never heard her do that before. Since then, I heard her tell me no a few times, and I listened. So there's that voice that you have inside you, and that I have inside me, which isn't aggressive, it's not violent, it's not, I don't know, it's not anything, it's a certain tone. 
that you can say it to someone and they will listen. Like, no. No. And it's not condescending. It's not talking down to someone. It's... There's, I don't know what the right name for it is. It's the no word. No. When you know that person means it, they're not saying it uh, as a joke. They really ain't joking about it. No, there's no humor there at all. It's no. That's it. I'm feeling quite emotional saying it. Probably because I was talking about my nan. But... We all have that in us. We all have that voice. We all have that word. And you know sometimes it may not have worked. Okay? Um, you can't control what other people do. Okay? So I realise there's been times when I've said no to someone and they've carried on. But they knew. They knew not to, but maybe they did carry on. But it's rare. It's a real rarity. Usually, when you say no, they listen, they hear it, they know. They know to shut up. Part of the reason I know about this word is because I've heard it a lot over the years. Yeah, thanks, Andre, for sneezing in the background. This recording was going really well till you did that. Thanks. Machine gun sneezy. Right, back to the recording. That's Andre, my ferret, my little boy. So, I heard the word no quite a lot when I was a kid because I was, I suppose cheeky would be the word. I was very, I was very cheeky to pretty much everyone, uh, apart from, probably apart from my nan. I wasn't cheeky to her. But I was cheeky to the teachers, and some would call it rude, but I like to think of it as being cheeky. So I was told no a lot. And even then, the teachers would say no, no, and I'd ignore it. And then there was that no that I knew not to ignore. So we've all got it inside, that's the point. We've all got that no, that power, it's a, an energy that's really, 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 really powerful. And you could almost feel like you could, you could stop a bull in its tracks from chasing you just by shouting, no. Well, last night I used it on myself. And it worked. It worked. I said, no. No, I'm not going to allow myself to be manipulated or affected, whatever the right word is, I'm not getting my proper words today, but almost manipulated by the words from another person, even though he wasn't trying to manipulate me, he was just telling me how he was feeling, but I almost felt like my my brain my emotions were using that and trying to get in touch maybe trying to have empathy by trying to feel the way that he was feeling and the way he was feeling was awful he was really unwell but the description of some of the things that he was talking about didn't it's almost was sounded almost like a panic attack what he was going through and I started to have the physical sensations of uh, what I would only describe as the beginnings of a panic attack and I closed my eyes and I said no no, really strict really firm to myself no, it's not going to happen Firstly, I know the cause. The cause is my friend telling me something. Yeah, we ate the same thing. But he... It doesn't mean they're going to have the same result. 
And besides, I've had food poisoning in the past. Food poisoning does not cause me to have a panic attack. It causes me to be physically ill, emotionally ill, not. So I'm not scared of that. So I have nothing, I don't need to be, I don't like being ill, of course, but I'm not scared of it. The idea of breaking a bone does not, I would not be sent into a panic attack from that because I've broken bones in the past and it's okay. It's not nice, but it's nothing major. But honestly, if it was me back or something, that would be a different thing. So, logically, there's nothing to be scared of. There's nothing to be fearful for. There is nothing to... There's no reason for all my emotions to suddenly be on high alert and for me to be expecting the worst at all. Plus, he had more of what I had to eat. Yeah, I only had a little bit. He had more. And it was just a hot pizza, basically. And he was really had a reaction. Now... I avoid. I took all the, the the hot stuff off at the top, and I made sure I avoided eating anything, even with the juice on. And so he, you know, the, I don't know what it was, jalapenos, but apparently it was proper strong. He'd never had that reaction before. So there was all that logic stuff. Like I know logic's not always useful. You know, emotions against logic, emotions have a tendency of winning. If you allow them to. So, I was sitting in my chair and I said, no. 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 And I've got a ferret over there, most uncontrollable ferret can't tell him what to do he, he ignores me apart from when I do that to him if I say no he hears me I have to look him in the eyes when I do it but he hears me and he can see that I'm not messing around and he, he runs away and he hides it wasn't a hide he just stops being naughty so it works. It worked for me yesterday. And it works on humans as well. You know, as far as getting them to stop whatever their behavior is. But this isn't about that. This is just about something that may be useful for you to test out. No. That's it to yourself like no you're not doing it you're not going through that you're not allowing those feelings to arise for no reason like no and that's it just test it out test it out and it's just another thing that you can use just the word no but with that tone with that definiteness of it it needs to be definite it needs to be 100% congruent you need to mean it it's not no no, it's not, you know, it's no. No. you got to mean it with every part of your body and mind. you got to mean it with everything. That no. And it's not aimed at yourself. It's aimed at those feelings that you don't want. aimed at those feelings that you don't need to experience 
No. And when any feeling arises, no. Send it back. Send it back to where it came from. No. It's almost like your body listens to your word when you focus on that part of your body. And your mind hears it. It's kind of one of those weird things. It's your mind saying it, but your mind hears it at the same time. Your unconscious mind is affected. And the word no is very easy to understand. It's no. It's not vague. Which means it can be understood very, very quickly. And you can feel different very, very quickly. No, I like to add humour. I like to mess around with stuff. But this is one of those moments where Possibly no room for humour. This is a no. I'm not messing about. I'm not kidding about here. It's no. When you realise your emotion, or those emotions that would be being used, that wanted to be used by the anxiety, is now being used by you saying no. The energy, that power, is behind that no. So that you mean it, and you not only expect those feelings that you don't want to stop, you expect them to stop, you want them to stop, but you know you know that they're going to stop. Because you're in charge. You're the boss. No, one, no one's in charge of you. No one's in charge of how you feel. No one can tell you to feel a certain way. No one can make you feel anything. You're in charge. So that's the word, no, with that energy behind it. So that's it. That's that's the recording. I hope it's been useful. Just give it a try. Just like anything else that I talk about, test it out. And the good thing about it is it doesn't have to be to do with anxiety or stress. It can be other feelings that perhaps you don't want. Start training your body to react to what you say. It's almost like being a sergeant major. You've got the troops and they all do anything you tell them to do. It's you taking control. Making sure that everything is how you want it to be. So that's the end of this recording. Thank you for listening. And remember to be kind to yourself. Because you deserve to be happy. 
lots of love. Bye.